So yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. Um, here I am. So yeah, just, just being me, just being a foreigner. And um, yeah, this is, this is interesting where I am because it's between two canals. It's summertime and this railway track is running between two canals. So I'm just gonna follow this, follow this railway track up here uh, it's running east so I'm just going to follow it east and I'm pretty sure I know where it's going like I do know where it's going but I've never followed this track on this way before so it's pretty exciting and um, these are some serious heavy gauge railway tracks like this is for big heavy cargo trains and um, yeah you can see the concrete sleepers here and it's a very 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 serious operation and yeah the canal the canal running the canal running either side but yeah this railway track is not in use it's not in use and um, for any of those railway enthusiasts out there maybe you can recognize the gauge and yeah, it looks like one of these devices for changing the changing the the track. So it's all pretty amazing stuff. If I could um, live my life over, I might I might choose to be a railway worker. It's it's interesting stuff, or even be a be a train driver. But but when you're driving a train. Um, you're really limited by the tracks and where they go. You can't just you can't just take your train off the rails. You've got to stay stay on the rails. But it's just a really interesting thing to me. I've always been fascinated by trains. And um, yeah, wow. It's very interesting to just walk along here. And in summertime, there's just something kind of quite. What's the word? I should. <laughs> I should sort of script these videos, but that would change what they are, which is which is impromptu. But but yeah, it's sort of like I guess romantic is the word. It's just romantic to be to be walking along a hot railway track line in summer with all of these trees and and in a little bit of heat. It's just there's something about it. There's something about a railway track in summer. Maybe it's a movie I saw. Maybe it's a, a memory from when I was a teenager. Maybe it's a painting, but anyone with eyes can see how, how lovely, how lovely all of this is. And just the contrast as well with the, with the iron and the, and the rocks and the concrete, which is quite brutal. And then just all of the green I think that might be it. It might be the contrast between what's clearly brutal and then all of the green and the sky. So yeah, having fun, having a lot of fun. And I'll just keep following this line. I'll just keep following this line until the end and yeah, I do know where it's going to end up, actually. I know full well where it's going to end up. But it's a lot of fun. It ends up at this overpass. And um, there's a few food trucks there and stuff. But, but yeah, look at this lovely bridge as well. Look at this lovely bridge as well. So that's a, that's a quite a quite a nice scene as well. And I guess what's I guess what's a little bit enchanting about railway tracks and and places like this is they're forbidden places. They're places where you sort of always feel like you shouldn't be. Um, so yeah, I think that's the attraction of, of railway tracks. It's like it's a bit dangerous, it's a bit, 
it's a bit forbidden. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a railway engineer. But as far as I can tell, this place is still in very good working order, and um, these tracks, these, these tracks look to be. It looks like they have not moved. And these concrete sleepers, I mean, they're every 30 centimeters. Um, and they're in excellent condition as well. I mean, you could, if they're gonna decommission this whole thing, I mean, you could use, you could use these sleepers. I'm sure there could be many, many different, I'm not gonna hurt my brain too much with all the different uses for them, but, but yeah, you could, you could do a lot with these with these sleepers I imagine and they are definitely not Melbourne tram tracks you know these are very heavy gauge very heavy gauge iron tracks and um, I'm constantly reminded of just how how amazing the industrial world is when I see these what are almost like infinite tracks of iron they just go on for like hundreds well they I mean thousands of kilometers there are trains that run from Beijing all the way to Moscow and it's just incredible to think about just the amount of the amount of iron that's been laid on the Earth's surface and it's really, really incredible. And now you've got dreamers like Elon Musk, they're talking about hyperloops and all kinds of stuff. probably a little bit jolty for people if they're watching this if they've watched this this far it's probably a little bit jolty for them the way that it's the way that I'm having to step from from sleeper to sleeper but um, it is what it is I mean that's the video that I've that I've decided to make I guess what I could do, which is clever, and if you ever hear this, you'll know that I didn't do it. Speed up the sequence and put some music to it and just be like, yeah, so, so it's a bit more entertaining, which is probably what I might do. I think it's not too difficult to do. Yeah, I, um, I made it through. I just had to do a little bit of climbing um, to get over that fence. It wasn't as simple as it looked um, initially. But uh, yeah, it was some sort of structure for cleaning the, cleaning the, uh, cleaning the carriages or something. So yeah, now I'm, now I'm just uh, at a road, at a public road. So I'll go to that road and uh, yeah, start to move, start to move homewards.